All right, guys, this is going to be a quick video. So we are with Crypto's OTC trading platform, and I'm going to show you really quick how to set up and do a withdraw. OK, so the great thing about this platform is as long as it's in your trade balance, which, um, you know, every two hours, this that's the window in which your uh, your trades are in the transaction, your balance is in the transaction. After the two hours, it's back in your balance and you can withdraw that. You can withdraw all of it if you wanted to. So here is how to set all of that up. So we are going to click on mine down at the bottom right. Now, remember, uh, you can do this on desktop or mobile. I'm only doing it on desktop because it's just bigger screen for you guys to see. But this user interface is a lot better on mobile. I will uh, say that. So before you guys do a withdraw and you register your account, you want to come here to the mine uh, tab and then go to identity authentication. Go ahead and just follow the instructions there. You're going to be doing a selfie with whatever documents you have. I use my driver's license and honestly, the process here that they use to vet is really, really quick. So I'm talking, I think like five minutes. I sent mine, I checked again and then it, it was approved. It'll say pass at the top. So Get that done first, so that way you don't run into any limitations because they uh, they will require KYC if you start wanting to do uh, over 500 bucks. So make sure that is done. Once you have your KYC done and approved, you will come here to your personal information. Now, once you are here on your personal information, there are a couple things you're gonna wanna do. You can see here, I already have my withdrawal address set. However, if this is your very first time, you will have a modify orange button here, just like you see for the rest of these. Now, uh, you'll see here that my withdrawal address, once you submit it, you no longer have a modify button. This is very important to remember, guys. You need to make sure that the address that you enter in here is a long-term USDT TRC20 address, okay? So this is a tethered deposit address that we're going to be sending to and it's on the tron network now if you by chance mess up or do something you know you put the wrong one or you end up needing to change it you cannot change this i checked with support and they said just this is to make accounts even more secure so people don't change addresses or whatnot so make sure this is a good one okay now when you hit the modify button it's going to look something similar where uh, it's going to be like this. It's going to ask you to send verification code. You're going to click that. It's going to send you a code to your phone number on file. And then um, you're going to put in your password here. Okay. So your transaction password is going to be used whenever you do any transactions. So kind of just like the title is when you do withdrawals and whatnot, you are going to have to enter in your transaction password. So Put the code in that you get to your uh, your phone number. It's going to be a SMS text message. Put in the password that you want to use. Make sure that you remember it. This is not the same as your login, okay? Your login credentials is going to be one thing to log in. Your transaction password is so you can uh, process transactions. Once you have all of that set, you're going to hit make setting. And then that's going to be your transaction password. So you should be all good there. Once you have these two set, you can go back to the mine tab and then you will see here i currently have ten thousand five hundred and nine dollars i can withdraw that i have the option to deposit or recharge more or you can transfer it if you click this i can transfer this to another receiver's id so um, back to my uh, statement there saying you can't change your withdraw address um, i haven't tested this i probably will but in the event that you no longer have access to that um, that withdraw address, you could make another account or send it to a friend or whatever and withdraw that way if your current withdraw address is no longer applicable. And then it's going to be the same thing. <clears throat> Sorry, they're going to use your you're going to put in your transaction password and then the um, SMS code. Honestly, I really like how they have a lot of these codes going on here. As long as nobody has access to your phone and even that transaction password, which you need your code for your to, uh, from your phone to make, like no one's gonna get access to your account. So I know there's a lot of dummies out there. This is this is for you guys to make sure you don't mess up. So uh, if we wanted to withdraw here, everything is set up. We have our withdraw address enabled. We made our transaction password. We are going to, so let's say I want to withdraw 69 bucks. 
And with 69 bucks, there's going to be a 0.3%. This is going to scale based off of how much you want to withdraw. Honestly, guys, it's, this is peanut money for that fee rate, which is good for us. We're going to put in my, I'm going to put in my transaction password and then the verification code uh, from here. At this point, you, I mean, this withdrawal, you're going to hit uh, send verification. You're going to put the code in, put your transaction, then you're going to hit submit. It's going to go to this address super quick. When I have done this, it's been like 30 seconds or less. So really, really fast. But this is how you guys do it. This is how you can withdraw whatever available balance you have. You can withdraw all of this. So maybe I'll do a couple, a couple runs here where I just withdraw everything and add it back in so you guys can see how easy we can come and go into this platform. But that's going to be the process. You can hit submit and then it's going to send it over there to your withdraw address. And that's it, guys. Super simple. I hope that helped. Reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns, and I'll catch you later.